We are going to introduce you today in our good news today, this Friday night, to Tamil Nadu's born twins, Harpita and Harpit, the nine year old twins who figure now among the top 12 contestants on the great Australian Spelling Bee contest. That's right, these two young twin wonders have won several hearts down under. Interestingly, the promos on Australian channels are even pitting them against each other. Their p proud parents, originally from Velour in Tamil Nadu, moved to Australia in 2007. And believe it or not, they have a vocabulary of nearly 50,000 words. The final contest is scheduled for this month. But guess who's joining us tonight? Harpit and Harpita are joining me live. Appreciate your joining us. First, you have to tell us who is who. Harpit, say hi. Put your hand up and say hi, Harpit. Hi. And Harpita? Hi, Harpit. Your Harpit and your hi. Harpita. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah. Okay, great. Now yeah. you've got to tell me, you've got a vocabulary of nearly 50,000 words. When did you start yeah. spelling? Who's going to answer that? Uh, we, started, we started spelling about uh, six or five. Mm -hmm. We just, we, uh, we would read the bedtime stories and books at the library. Mm -hmm. And so that's when it all started, about from three to two years old. Then what we did is we play word games with our family. And yeah, and that's how we really got that just interest in spelling. So as we did that, we moved on. And now we're eight years old. Well, we're nine years old now. <laughs> our birthday was last week. We're nine years old. And yeah, spelling's just part of our daily life. You know, okay, it's part of your daily life. Harpit, I can see Harpita speaks more than you do. But tell me, did you... Do you compete with each other? I'm told the Australian promotionals have you two competing. So did you compete with each other as children to learn more and more spellings? Well, in the Great Australian Spelling Bee, we used to compete against each other. We got this ad about this rivalry thing. Yeah. And we actually made a cool saying about uh, the rivalry thing. Okay, Bring it on, sister. Oh, the battle is on, brother. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So what was that? Wait, yeah. Say that again. Bring it on, sister. Bring it on, brother. You become complete Australians. <laughs> Whatever happened yeah. to your well known roots? We turn into rivals. Both of you are like. <laughs> but look, tell me one thing. I, I've, I've been doing some research on you. Harpita, your favorite word I'm oh. told is kafoon. What does kafoon mean? Uh, uh, kafoon is actually uh, when your loved one just strokes your hair. I visualize my mother doing it to me. And that makes me feel so safe and soothing. So I just love that word. You love that word. And, and Harpit, I am told that your favorite long yeah. word is so long, it is a 29 letter word. Please tell <laughs> yeah. me what is this word, Harpit? Oh my gosh. Please tell me this word. The word is phloxinosine helification. <laughs> what? What? Phloxinones? <laughs> Please spell it for me. Phloxino. Please spell it for me. Helification. F L O C C I N A U C I N I H I L I P I L I F I T A T I O N. What does this <laughs> word mean? <laughs> what does it mean, Harpit? The word means the action or habit considered as worthless. I want to ask you, how many hours, Harpita, do you all work on this? I mean, you've got other homework, surely. Don't tell me you're spending all your time getting into spellings, Harpita. Well, actually, no. Spelling is just one of the things we do in our daily life. We actually have other hobbies. Uh, I love singing, dancing. I play keyboard at school. I also go to karate, mental maths, and yeah. So it's like just one thing of our whole uh, hobbies. No, no. You, you mean you do karate? At, uh, you do you you do spelling yeah. along with karate, right? That's not a bad yeah, thing so to do. It would be interesting. And, and what and about in karate? We are at purple bell, and purple is like a high stage. Right. So first is white, orange, blue, green, and then purple. Mm -hmm. So we're the high belt in karate. You know that's that, that that's pretty you know pretty neat stuff that you're you're putting out. How difficult is the competition going to be in this spelling bee competition? Are, are the others as as good as you? Uh. <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, some kids are, w every kid is really, really good at spelling, but you just don't know how good they are, because they could have some talent, but they could also have more talent inside that they haven't shown yet. So every kid has at least a bit of talent and a bit of creativity, and if they put that together, they can do anything. 
You can do any. Okay, so what is the secret formula, Harpit? What's the secret formula to being a good speller? Because my spellings are awful. Well, the secret formula is best to remember long words and tricky words that have sign letters. I read the origin of the words to remember them. A French origin word is chenille. In the end, it ends with eel, and that the normal spelling is e e l. But chenille actually ends with i l l e. Yeah. I want to ask. I want to ask. Sorry. It's crazy. I want to ask you, Harpita, why is it that so many Indians are winning all these spelling bee competitions? Why are Indians so good at it, Harpita? I just don't know. It's just really interesting, actually. I don't know really how. Maybe they just have the talent. So maybe they don't memorize the words. Maybe they have passion for it. And may maybe they just believe in themselves. So I'd like to say, if you believe in yourself, nothing is impossible. And if they go with that, that... They can do anything. Basically, the Australians can beat us at cricket, but they can't beat us at spelling bee, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But li listen, I want to know from maybe. you. Fifty percent. Who's the older 50%. one? Fifty <laughs> percent. Who's the older one out of you? Okay. Who who's older? So there's a bit of a story to this. I'm actually older by one minute, which is very, very interesting. But I'm taller. Yeah, than he's my like taller by about this much five centimeters and so I was going like everywhere we go people come and ask oh Zahapit how many days were you older than your sister and I'm like <laughs> hey I'm older not him it's me you're older and some of my classmates say yeah that what? who's older how many days but it's actually a minute so yeah. she said oh my class it's a minute not a day <laughs> okay who's gonna win who out of you two is gonna win and what happens to the loser Well, I think we're both equal because we can't we can't compare ourselves. Yeah, he's a good boy. He likes saying half. But okay. if we turn to rivals, I would say I'm better. But no. in this case, we're both good. Yeah, we're both equal. Yeah. Oh, listen, you you're both because wonderful. We're we'll together. Yeah, Thank go ahead. So Thank you. Okay, you. Uh, I I hope whatever happens, you're always going to be uh, you're always going to be loving brothers and sisters. It's wonderful to have you. And may the best win win. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks so much. May we the love best. Good night. Oh. Yeah, it's nice meeting yeah. you. Good night. Good night, I can India. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, Good I can night. See, okay, I, I can see that the Australians have got you taped. Thanks very much, Harshit, Harpit, <laughs> and Harpita. Thank you so much. Thank you.